Okay, so welcome back to Tipple TV and thank you for joining the Average Golfer. I'm here at Four Golf Chester. I'm going to do something a little bit different this morning. Um, we're going to try shorter shaft in driver. Big issue for a lot of a lot of golfers, I think, a lot of average golfers, myself included, is being able to control driver in terms of dispersion left and right. We all like to give it a whack off the tee, but we'd all like to be, or the majority of us like to be a bit straighter. I'm going to see if putting a shorter shaft in a driver head can make me control the ball any better than I currently do with the regular shafting. Okay, so as a lot of you will already know, I'm a user of the G400 Max, and one of the reasons I chose the G400 Max is because of the, the high levels of forgiveness, the MOI, and for me, greater control off the tee. I'm certainly finding more fairways. I'd certainly like to find more fairways, and I still find the driver is the hardest club in the bag to use. And certainly, if I'm gonna have a bad day, a lot of it will be to do with how I perform with driver and how wayward I am with driver and for a lot of instances I often choose not to play driver off the tee because of that lack of confidence um, in being able to perform with it. So I've seen a couple of it. this is a repeat video, this is a copycat video, I make no qualms about it, I've seen other people do this test. The other people I've seen do this test have been scratch golfers, professional golfers, whatever you want to call. I want to see how much difference it made to the average golfer because if it's helping somebody who plays off scratch find more fairways, then certainly it's something that we should be looking at as average golfer. So that's the reason I'm doing the test. See how it impacts on me personally, and hopefully you as well might consider trying it. So I use the C uh, CB Alter Stiff Shaft in my current Ping G400 Max, and I'm using exactly the same shaft, um, Alter CB Stiff, but in the length of the three wood. So it's a three wood shaft effectively. Um, and I just want to see, hitting balls out there, how much greater control I've got. And the first thing to note is this. It, it's a little bit odd in terms of it feels like and it looks like a shorter shaft. It looks a little bit strange in my eye because I've never, it's not something I've ever tried. So that's something to overcome just from a mental perspective. But when I do sit it behind the ground and just a few practice swings that I have and I've hit a few balls off camera, I feel just a little bit more confidence I suppose you'd say more than anything. Straight away it just gives you that little bit of swinging the lot, the only, and don't get me wrong there's not a huge difference in the length of shaft but it just that great a little bit, bit of control over the club head on the end of this shaft. That's how it feels at least. Um, let's see how it performs, let's see how it performs, that's the interesting bit. But yeah straight away address it is, it is odd. It just feels very, very short indeed. Um, but like I said, I feel as if I've got control of the club head. If I hit the camera now, maybe I haven't. Believe me, that is bullet straight. We have a pylon in the distance, which um, is the target line. And that is right down it. It's a fantastic start. I'll hit another ball. For some reason as well, I just feel as though I've got a better tempo um, with the shorter shaft as well. It just seems, again, I'm very much uh, rely on tempo um, in whether or not I'm hitting the ball well or not. And it just seems to, again, encourage just that little better, more fluid uh, swing and like I said just a bit of greater control at least that first shot and I've hit a few off camera and the first you know the, the opinion is that yeah it seems to be greater control but now we're looking at numbers does it do it and the camera's on let's try again I haven't managed to hook up the software that watches ball flight as yet and I will get there I promise but I swear to God, those first couple of balls have gone right down the pipe. Um, I'll hit some more golf balls. No doubt that is not gonna continue. They're gonna leak a bit, but that was, I felt great control. I felt great tempo and I felt control of the club head, uh, which is not something I often say with driver. As much as I like the G400 Max, I still, you know, I'm not the best driver of a golf ball. It's fair to be said. Anyway, I'll hit some more golf balls. We'll have a look at some 
data, I think, which is one part of the tail, obviously, here, and dispersion in particular is what we're looking at. See how much, it looks as though we're dropping off in terms of yardage, um, which we'd expect. Um, but yeah, let's see how much of an impact it has between, I'll go and hit some balls as well um, with the regular shafting, regular length shafting, that is, and uh, we'll do some comparisons. Well, I found that particularly interesting. Uh, not something that I've, I, I remember I used a Callaway Fusion, which had the shorter shafting. And again, I liked the performance in terms of that to a degree, and I think I got some decent numbers out of it as well. But I, so I don't know why I dismissed the idea of thinking that this was a possibility in terms of using the three wood shaft in driver head. G400 Max is, like I said, been proven to be a good purchase from my part. But if I could, like I said, tighten up that dispersion, then it's always something to be interested in. And we'll have a look at what I achieved in terms of dispersion very shortly, but let's just have a look at the numbers and how it affected um, performance between that and uh, the longer shaft or regular shaft that I would use in my driver. So this is what I achieved with three, uh, the three wood shaft. Um, so 137 ball speed, uh, affected massively by, I don't know what shot number that is, there's one in there at 130, so that average has dropped down significantly. Um, launching um, higher 18.4 degrees spin number remained very very good at 2000 it's arguably again dropped off the charts on a couple of uh, couple of balls there um, peak height averaging at 34 and carrying at 237 uh, let's have a quick look like I said one ball there again massively impacts on numbers so you always bear that in mind so 220 was the worst shot I hit 250 was the best shot I hit okay so these were the numbers I achieved earlier in the day in the video that was looking at uh, T height and I used the same T interestingly enough for which was a higher T which might explain the slightly higher launch angle as well uh, but anyway uh, for the purposes of the comparison, they were identical conditions, obviously, but the different shafts. So 142 ball speed, and again, uh, only one dropped off at 136, but again, 142 ball speed significantly um, uh, faster off the face. 18.1 uh, launch, very similar. Spin number, not too dissimilar. 246 in terms of, uh, in terms of carry. So again, just making reference back to those numbers, we've probably lost 10 yards in distance maybe on average ball speed is dropped off for that and that'll be obviously largely due to the length of the shaft in terms of club head speed uh, so probably what we'd expect in terms of numbers um, dropped off slightly and, and that's about it and that's like I said what you would expect I'll throw the dispersion chart because this is the interesting one for me and that's in front of you now now as you can see I fit two balls down the right out of that circular group that I've put together there two balls down the right one ball down the left but in amongst all that this multicolored circle that I've grouped around that shot I think there's eight shots within that group that is extremely tight grouping for me um, they're all slightly right of center I was able to hit a nice controlled draw if you like um, like I said push the odd one pull the other one but overall from the sample shots that I hit I can't believe how many balls I put on top of each other in terms of driver. So assessment time, or evaluation time. I think that this is a real interesting one. I think it's a real interesting one that a lot of golfers should consider and a lot of manufacturers should make more available in terms of the option to choose that shorter shaft. Uh, because for me, as like I said, somebody who struggles with driver, I would really, really consider this. In fact, what I'm gonna do is uh, for golf agree to let me loan the three wood shaft for two or three weeks and I'm going to try it out on the course in real time at real conditions if you like and I'm just going to monitor how I perform with it how am I more consistent in terms of uh, what I'm achieving out there on the fairways and be, I'll feed that back at some point in the future but a real I found it really interesting I, I'm obviously I'm slightly surprised and I, maybe I shouldn't be um, but yeah, I think for average golfers, shorter shaft on driver is a real possible thing that we should be considering. I really do. Anyway, I think that's it. I can't say no more. I think you've got what we need. We've seen what we need. Take from it what you will. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you don't already. And I'll see you very soon.